Hey folks, welcome back to another First Impressions video. I was um, going to share with you two games uh, that I played at Come On Expo in Atlanta last week uh, that I got to play for the very first time. And and uh, it was a really neat experience uh, because these are a couple of games that aren't actually out yet. They're not even... Uh, one of them has finished their Kickstarter and is going to be uh, uh, reaching the backers soon. I don't know exactly when. Uh, but the other one hasn't even been you know into production yet. And uh, so... That is, first of all, Bloodborne, the board game, and God of War, the card game from Come On Games Limited. Now, Bloodborne, the board game, I'm not really savvy on the uh, IP that's behind the game. As a matter of fact, the only thing I know about the game is from the card game that also came out with, from Come On, I believe, last year sometime. So that's the only experience I have with the video game IP at all. So I don't really have a connection to the game per se. Now, with that having been said, Eric Lang and Michael Chanel are a couple of my favorite designers uh, because of the games that they've created in the past. I really like a lot of them. So that's the only real connection to the game. So as I sat down with Michael Chanel last week and played the game, there were a lot of really fun things in the game uh, that I enjoyed. First of all, it has a strong storyline element that runs throughout, and the storyline can actually affect how the game plays later on. The choices that you make in this scenario affect what happens later on down the road. I love it when games do that. It has a legacy feel to it without being a legacy game. Uh, but on top of that, uh, there is also a really neat exploration uh, mechanism that's going on as well. As you travel throughout the location that you've been sent to to take care of all the nasties that are in the area or figure out what's going on, uh, there is an explorative element as you add new tiles to the playing surface. Now, on top of that, it adds to another part. The storyline, you actually don't know the entire story going into the scenario. You don't even know exactly what you're supposed to do as you go into this scenario. You just know what you've been sent there to do. And that's one of the things that I liked about it. You know a part of what you're supposed to do, and then you have to find out the who's and the what's and the how's as you play through the game. I really enjoy that. Furthermore, there's no dice. And usually that might be somewhat of a detractor for me, but here it actually works out really good because the card-driven action system or the card-driven attack system actually works really good and smooth and it's very simple as well. So I think they packed a lot of theme into this game uh, without making it very convoluted. And I like it when games do that. So that's my first impressions. We'll have to wait until we get our review copy in. Hopefully we will uh, before we can give it some more plays but uh, I really did enjoy the game and so that's that now God of War the card game is something is is actually another uh, intellectual property that I have very little knowledge about I know it's a popular video game I know it's stunningly beautiful as far as the uh, landscapes and and the graphics that are in the video game and I, I know all of that but I've never played the video game. Never played any of the God of War video games, as a matter of fact. And so I sat down with, with uh, Alex, the lead designer uh, for the game, and he took me through a few rounds of the game to be able to feel how it works. It's basically a deck builder uh, that you're using your cards, you're going to add cards to your deck and, and go forth that way. But it feels fresh because there's not like, you know, stacks of cards out there that have different prices on them. And you don't have money cards in your hand that you're going to use uh, in order to buy certain cards on your turn and all that other kind of stuff. No, it's more of a experienced base acquisition of these new cards because you only get to draw one card every turn. You don't have to pay for it. It's based on kind of, I guess you could say thematic speaking what happened in that part of the battle and you've learned a little bit and so now you can go forward and do that so I, I really actually like that because it's still deck building but it has a little bit of a fresh twist on it another thing is the mosaics that they use for each of the different scenarios in the game and this is what allows that that uh, graphical element of that the video game has uh, and makes it kind of center stage here in the game because you're you're constantly looking at this mosaic uh, because it it has the monsters on it that you're having to attack and get through. It also has certain explorative elements to it because you're going to be flipping over some of these cards and and it might be another monster or it might be one of the artifacts that you're looking for in the scenario. Uh, there's just a number of different things that you can do. So uh, I really 
really enjoyed that as well, and that explorative nature is what really kind of made it cool for me too. But uh, other than that, it's a really streamlined kind of deck building game uh, where you're simply using your hand. It has that feel where you're going to be using your entire hand and, and drawing up another one, but uh, it's it feels different. So I'm really looking forward to giving this one a try when it comes out later on down the, the, down the road as well. So that's that for my first impressions of Bloodborne, the, the board game, and God of War, the card game from coming out this year from Come On Games, and uh, I really enjoyed both of them. I, of course, this is just not even a full play of these games. These are just my raw first impressions of the game. So hopefully they'll they'll live up to their to my expectations later on. Thanks for joining me. I certainly appreciate it. We'll see you guys and gals on the flip side.